Experience today, I'd like to go over current market conditions and trade of the day. Disclosures are very important, please read them. You can always pause the screen if you need more time. If you're new to trading stock and options, I encourage you to visit optionsclean.com to understand the risks associated with trading options and stocks. All right, let's take a look at the market. Looking at the stock for Kia's toolbox, model did turn positive short term for the next 10 days. I do see an uptrend trading in the range 357, 372. We were traded, we were, we, we, were tra we closed at 371. Today, actually, we're as high as 375. After the Netflix news, market is higher again at 373. So I plotted the downtrend. We're still facing the downtrend and the 380 overhead resistance. So as long as the market is trading in the downtrend, from the August high, you there is a chance that the market can revisit and retest the 350. A lot of it depends on the earnings news, right? The macroeconomic data, we don't have PP, inflationary data until PC data end of October, right? Last week, or the last few days of October. So in the next two weeks, mainly the market will be driven by earnings news. I think we will trade between 380 and 350 for the next week or two and eventually break to the upside above 380 level. So whether it happens next week or right after midterm elections, we'll have to wait and see. So I think the rally has lags and will continue higher, potentially reaching 400 for 10 level and that's confirmed by the longer term model looking at the six months end of october potentially end of november reaching 400 level market tends to overshoot i would not be surprised to actually see somewhere around 415 by end of the year but again the negative trend continues on and eventually retests in 350 and as low as 300 going into March and April. So I agree with the model. I think it is reasonable to assume that somewhere between 350 and 300 is the level we will reach by end of March of next year. Short term, the passive list resistance is to the upside. I'm bullish on the market, continue to trade around spiders. Again, using dollar cost average, close today at 375, bought at 363. Next level, I'm going to sell at 390. I would use any pullbacks to accumulate. If market pulls back again to 363, I would be a buyer of spiders. Finally, well, we do have a YouTube channel. I encourage you to search for TradeSpoon. Click on subscribe, click on like buttons. Every Wednesday morning bell and closing bell. Friday, we have a strategy round table. This is a live discussion of current market conditions. Trades of the day, what work, what doesn't. Don't trade alone. We are trading the bear market potentially for the next, you know, 12 to 12, potentially for the next 12 months or at least six to 12 months still trading the bear market. Volatility is going to stay high. I encourage you to participate in our live events. I think if you can make a commitment to participate for free for the next three months, you will see improvements in your trading performance. Thank you very much and have a great day.